Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. This is Miss Strawberry Bacon. Um, this is just like my little introduction video because today, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be talking about my morning skincare routine. I do not have perfect skin, but this skincare routine that I've been doing is definitely giving me some promising results. Um, I will film and upload my nighttime routine sometime in the future as, you know, I have to find time to film it and everything. But um, this is my morning skincare routine and I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye! Hey everybody, this is Miss Strawberry Bacon here, here to talk about my morning skincare products slash routine, kind of the video. Um, just a little disclaimer, if you see like a little shadow walking around in the background, like uh, right around like in this area, um, that's my dog Ruben. He's looking out the window. Yes, I'm talking about you. But I just wanted to let you know, it's like, what is that shadow? It's the dog. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with uh, what I usually cleanse with in the morning. And it's the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Cleansing Pads. Um, they do have daily cleansing pads that are made specifically for acne prone skin but I haven't had much luck with like the Aveeno acne products. I've tried their foaming cleanser and their um, clean cream cleanser and it really didn't do much for me so I wanted to just to try like their regular um, cleansing pads. Um, I cut them in half because the pads, these are the pads by themselves, they're pretty big so I cut them in half and just use like one, you know, a half in the morning. I wet my face and then just rub them, rub it's it all cool over my face. because it has, um, one side has exfoliating things on it. Yes, it has the exfoliating on it. Can you see it, Ruben? And the other side doesn't. Okay, don't lick it. Shoot, go on. I'm not cleansing your face today. Sorry, Ruben likes smelling my things. But yeah, one side has the exfoliating side and the other doesn't. So I really, really like that. And it actually does a pretty good job at exfoliating. So good job, Avino. So that's what I use to cleanse with in the morning. And then after I cleanse... Yes, thank you, Ruben. He's licking me. <laughs> um, I tone with the uh, number seven beautifully balanced purifying toner, and I've showed this in um, the video where I just talked about like the whole uh, Boots pure beautifully balanced line, and I'm still using the toner. I really, really like it. It's just very, very gentle and soothing. You know, it's not irritating at all. So that's why I like using it in the morning. And then after I tone. I sometimes, not always, but you know, if I have a good amount of time, I'll put this uh, number seven Protect and Perfect Beauty Serum, and it's like a um, smoothing kind of thing, and it just makes my skin really soft and supple. So I like using it in the morning just to get my skin nice and soft and ready for t for the day, and then. Um, but I, what I do definitely use now um, is the Skin Effects Target Dark Spot Corrector. This is a new product to my um, skincare line. As you know, I'm using the Advanced Brightening Complex at night, but I wanted something in the morning. So I went out and um, I actually stumbled upon this. I wasn't planning on buying it, but I just saw it and thought it would be good to use on my skincare journey and it comes with a pump little applicator and I use this in the morning because it doesn't have to sit on my skin I can just put it on and go and I really like that about that so after I cleanse and tone I'll usually put this on and just usually let it sit for like maybe a minute or two and then after that I go in with my acne blemish serum. This is also by um, Boots. It has a little pump and I like this a lot because the serum is light, it's not really heavy on my skin and it's just perfect for daytime. I also use this at night. Um, I like it a lot. Um, it does take a minute to work well, not a minute, I should say, it'll take like a couple of days to weeks, you know, to work before you start like seeing results. But I do really, really like this. 
uh, little serum just because it is so light and I can use it, you know, under my makeup and, you know, not have any problems with it. It has a lot of like natural ingredients like willow bark and I think a little like witch hazel extract or, or something. I threw away the box but you can buy it at Target and it's really really good. And then after I use my serum I'll go in with my moisturizer and I'm using the Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Control Moisturizer with salicylic acid and the reason why I picked this up is because it has a very very low amount of salicylic acid only 0.5 percent and I really like that because you know it's not harsh it's not irritating on my skin it's very very moisturizing It'll be, it doesn't leave my skin like oily or greasy or anything like that it's well it works well under makeup and it has just a very low amount of salicylic acid and I use this morning and night so um, I definitely recommend this I really like it a lot and then what I'll do just like another little acne thing um, I will put this Neutrogena Acne on the Spot Treatment. This has benzoyl peroxide acne medicine, but it's also like a really, really low amount. It only has 2.5%, so it's really not that um, extreme. I know there's like 10% out there, you know, 5%, whatever. But I just wanted something, you know, not so intense for my skin, especially if I'm going to be using this on my skin in the morning. But I'll just, it's kind of dirty, but I'll just take a little, it's like a white thing. Um, it doesn't dry white, because I know sometimes what people complain about is the benzoyl peroxide um, dries kind of like this white film on your skin. If you rub it in, it won't leave that. So you have to like really, you know, make sure it's really well rubbed into your skin and you won't have like that problem. And then if I'm uh, going outside to school or work or whatever, I'll put on my skin I use the Neutrogena Pure and Free Liquid Daily Sunspot with SPF of 50. And what I really like about this uh, product is that it dries to a very, very matte um, like finish. It doesn't make you greasy or oily. You can wear it under makeup, which I have. And it's actually, it actually says on the bottle, layers invisibly under makeup. What I will say about this is though, um, when you put it on your skin, it dries very, very quickly. And I was kind of taken back about, about how fast it dries and then I was left with like this white film all over my face. Maybe if I was, you know, Caucasian or whatever, it wouldn't be as noticeable, but since I'm not, <laughs> it was very noticeable. So I was like, oh my gosh, freaking out. So what I will say is really good sunscreen, um, gives you a, you know, a matte feeling on your face, but just when you take it out, rub it on your face really, really fast because once it dries, you know, and if you didn't rub it in, it's going to show on your face. But sometimes, you know, I'm tired, half awake, zombie mode when I put this on, and I get like that white film. So what I do just to get rid of it, I just put a moisturizer on top of it, and I just use my number seven rebalancing day fluid for oily combination skin. And that just, um, and this has SPF 15 in it as well. I know it doesn't add on to the SPF from the... Neutrogena, but, but I just like you to know. put it on because it just helps get rid of that white film on my face. So I don't have to like work, worry about looking like you know, make nasty ashy over here. So uh, yeah, all right. So that will conclude my morning skincare products slash routine. Hey, Ruben, and um, I. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, listening, I should say, since I'm not there. Sorry, I'm having like a crazy type of hair day, so that's why I'm not in front of the camera. But <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!